Hi, welcome to our channel. Today, we'll be learning how to play Camel Up, where camels defy gravity and logic as they stack up and race across the desert. To set up the game, place the game board in the middle of the table. Separate betting tickets by colour and stack them from lowest to highest payout and place them on their matching colours on the board. Place the five pyramid tickets in the location by the tens. Place all Egyptian pounds near the board and give each player three Egyptian pounds. Also give each player five finished cards of one character and a matching spectator tile. If playing with six or more players, give each player a partnership card matching their character. If there are less than six players, partnership cards are not used. Next, roll each coloured dice to determine the starting positions on each camel. Place all camels that match the dice that wrote 1 on space 1. The camels that wrote a 2 on 2 and the camels that match the dice that wrote a 3 on 3. Stack all camels on the same location on top of each other and make sure they are all facing clockwise. Then place all dice into the pyramid. Then roll the grey die and place either the black or white camel on space 16 if a 1 is rolled, space 15 if a 2 is rolled, and space 14 if a 3 is rolled. Make sure these two camels are facing counterclockwise and put the grey die in the pyramid. Close the pyramid and place it in the centre of the board. Give the first player marker to the youngest player. And now you are ready to begin. Starting with the first player, each player will take turns doing a single action of their choice. One action that can be taken is a single betting ticket. You can choose any colour betting ticket, but you must take the topmost ticket, placing it in front of you until the end of the leg. There is no limit on how many tickets you can collect throughout the leg of the race. The second action that can be taken is placing your spectator tile onto the track. The tile has two sides. You can place it any side up, but depending upon which side is up, will determine which way the camel will go when landing on it. If the camel lands on your tile, no matter which side is face up, you gain a single Egyptian pound. Also, if it is on the cheering side up, the camel and other camels on top of the camel that lands on it will move forward one space. If the booing side is face up, the camel moves back a single space. If there is another camel there, Place the camels moving back underneath the camels that are already in that space. Little side note, when Crazy Camel gains or loses space due to a spectator tile, they move forward or backwards based on their direction, not the direction of other camels. Also, spectator tiles can only be placed on an empty space, and no spectator tile can be placed on the one space nor can a tile replace next to one already on the board. The third action that can be taken is betting on an overall winner or overall loser. To do this, you will play one of your character cards in the colour you think that will either win or lose on its appropriate stack. You can do this action as many times as you have cards, but beware the cards will stay there until the end of the game and every card that is wrong will lose you one Egyptian pound for a wrong prediction. However, depending on how early or late you were to get the right answer, you can win anywhere from one Egyptian pound to eight Egyptian pounds. But more on that at the end of the game. The final action you can take that will move the race along is to take a single pyramid ticket. Once you take the ticket, you will immediately lift the pyramid, flip it upside down, shake it, and then hold it a couple of inches above the board and push the button on the side that looks like an entrance to the pyramid and a die should fall on the table. The colour of the die will indicate which camel will move and the number will determine how many spaces the camel will move. The only time this changes is when the grey crazy camel die falls. The colour of the number on the grey die will determine which crazy horse camel moves and how many spaces. When moving a camel, all camels atop the camel move. And if the camel ends on a location with another camel, it will be placed on top of that camel. After the camel or camels have moved, 
place the die on one of the tens. This action can be taken until the last ticket is collected and the fifth die is rolled. Once the camel is done moving, the leg of the race will end. Once a leg has ended, you will score for the leg. To score for the leg, each player will look at any and every betting ticket in front of them. If the camel colour is leading the race, you will gain 5, 3 or 2 coins depending upon the ticket or tickets you have collected for this leg. If you have any betting tickets for a camel that came in second, you'll gain 1 coin per ticket. And if you have a betting ticket of any camel that came in 3rd, 4th or 5th place, will lose you 1 coin per ticket. Additionally, if you have any pyramid tickets, you can collect 1 coin for each ticket. Once all players have collected or paid their coins for this leg, reset the board. Do this by returning all betting tickets to their appropriate stacks and put them in the same order as set up. From bottom to top, 2, 2, 3, 5. Return all pyramid tickets to their location. Collect your spectator tile if it is on a board and place the 5 dice back into the pyramid. Then pass the first player marker to the left and they will start the new leg of the race. The game will continue with each player taking a single action until the end of the next leg where they will score once more. The only time a leg will be cut short is if a camel crosses the finish line. It can be a normal camel or a crazy camel. Score the leg like normal, then proceed to end game scoring. Collect the stack of overall winners and flip the stack face up in order. The player who first played the correct winner card will receive 8 coins and the next player will get 5 coins and so on. Any bets that were not the winning camel will have to pay 1 coin for each of their character cards that were wrong. The overall loser bets are paid out the same way. If losing camels are stacked, the lowest camel is considered the overall loser. And if winning camels are stacked, the topmost camel is considered the winner. Once all bets are paid, the player with the most Egyptian pound coins is the winner. If playing with 6 or more players, an extra action option that can be taken is trading partnership cards. If you have a partnership card face up in front of you, as an action, you may trade it with another player who has a face-up partnership card. They may not refuse, so trade cards and place them down in front of you for the remainder of the leg. Once the leg ends, you may choose a single betting ticket or pyramid ticket your partner has and score it in addition to your own for the leg. But you are not obligated to, especially in the case of your partner having negative tickets. After scoring, return all partnership cards back to the original owner and place them face up in front of you to signify they are available for the next leg. And that is how you play Camel Up. Thanks for watching! If you've enjoyed this tutorial, like, share and subscribe for more game guides. Let us know in the comments which game you'd like to master next.